Hi everyone. Welcome to our premiere high dimensional therapy group event. So this is a premiere event. This will be made public, the only one that is made public, but due to privacy, only my screen will be recorded and the voices of the participants will be recorded. So in this session, we'll start off with a channeled guided meditation using sound alchemy, and it is a light language. So I'll ask you to start by closing your eyes. And this session is run like a therapy session, but it's based on channeling using counseling techniques. And I also channel a deeply healing presence that also assists in activating you and assist in your healing journey. All right, so we will now begin. I'll ask you now to close your eyes and we'll begin in a few moments. Take a deep breath. Feel the breath move through your entire being. It is the breath of life. It is life force energy. It is source and it is love. And love is who you truly are. Now connect to your heart center. your heart center become a brilliant golden flame and as you notice this flame notice how the flame opens your heart center even further allowing you to feel more of your divine love and your connection with source and your connection with all that is. Feel the love emanating from your heart center. And feel your heart open further 
as you surrender to the divine love that you are. As you breathe, continue to open your heart center and be open to receive more transmissions to assist you in connecting to who you truly are and to feel the divine love that you internally and divinely are.
breathe. Feel your body becoming lighter. Feel the sensations felt throughout your entire being. Notice how it vibrates, how it tingles. Notice the temperature. Notice how are you feeling? Notice how the heart energy has been expanded within your heart center. You are now more connected to who you are. It is in this heart space where you connect with who you are, and with your brothers and sisters. It is here where your connection lies to remembering your God state, to remembering your powerful state, to remembering how powerful you truly are, how worthy you truly are, how limitless you truly are, how loved you truly are. Can you feel the love? This is who you are and you are not alone in this journey. You are connected with all that is, for all that is, is you. You are source. You have the power. Breathe in. And exhale all that is no longer needed. Take a few breaths to now center yourself. Connect. Now feel the bottom of your feet. Imagine there are roots under your feet. See these roots ground into Mother Gaia as she grounds you. Take a few moments to feel this energy, to acknowledge this energy as you. When you are ready, you may open your eyes. Due to the energy transmissions, you may wish to drink some water for the next stage. Kimberly will do the same. Welcome friends. Did you feel your heart energy in this exercise? What were your experiences in this session? Would anyone like to share today? Everyone's journey is unique. If you wish to share or not to share, so be it. Know that the changes within you are always occurring. You just received a transmission into your heart center, into your ethereal light bodies. It is my honor to come through in this way. It's my intention to come through to assist you in connecting to your heart center, 
to assist you in connecting to who you truly are. To go through your journey knowing that you are safe, knowing that you are love, knowing that you are one. So welcome. I will now open it up. Who would like to begin in exploring why they are here today? I have a question. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Um, I'm involved in a creative process and there's oftentimes between the asking, uh, the desire, and then the next step of, in, of inspiration. And so in that window of time, there's nothing for me to do. And I struggle with doing nothing. Um, I'm wondering what is sort of the best approach to that time where the best action is no action. <laughs> This is part of the human conditioning. You have been conditioned to control. You've been conditioned to keep busy. Because what does it mean when you keep busy? In your belief systems, you attribute this to worthiness. But you are always worthy. Whether you work or not work, you've always been worthy. What is occurring right now in your experiencing worldwide is a call to stop, is a call to surrender, is a call to accept, to accept, to be still, to open your heart, to know that you are one. There is a divine time in all things. You may have the desire. You may have the intention for something to be manifested in your reality. But perhaps it's not supposed to show itself in the way you wish. And if you know it is supposed to come, then it will come. But it may become in a different way and in a time, in your perceived time, that you may perceive as a long time. Because in non-physical, there is no concept of time, only divine time. This is all there is in your reality. It is teaching you to let go of control. It is teaching you that to trust the universe, to trust that what you truly want that aligns to your soul contracts will be manifested in divine time. As you wait, use this time to go inwards. Use this time to be engaged in the creative process. As you engage in the creative process, you are activating the God particle within you. You are being the God creator. You receive guidance every minute of the day, but you disregard it. Many of you are wanting these grand inspirations, these grand steps to appear in your conscious awareness. But many of them are what you perceive to be mundane, what you perceive to be small. It may be just to look at a certain website. It may be to ring a certain person. It may be to watch a certain TV program. But because these aren't what you perceive to be linked to higher ideas, you may disregard this. But perhaps there is a message in this. Perhaps you're meant to see something that takes you to the next step. Being the present moment, you will not receive these nuanced guidance steps if you are not in the present moment. You may get your aha guidance, what you perceive to be a grand or large step, but these little steps you may disregard if you are not in the present moment. This is where your guidance lies. 
in the present moment is the portal. It is the dimension to your full powerful self. It is there where you connect to oneness. It is there where you connect to all that is. It is there where you connect to your guides that are assisting you every step of the way. For we are you. You have the power within you. Would you say you are patient in this time? Mm -hmm. Some days. <laughs> More than I used to be. Go with the flow. Be in the present moment. Do what every do anything that inspires you. It does not have to be a grand activity. It could be simply watching a TV program. Perhaps there is a message there for you. Just be in the present moment. That's all you need to do and you'll receive the guidance. The guidance. It might be teaching you to let go. Let go of control. Let go of wanting to control your scenarios and your work. You want it to look a certain way, to form a certain way, to be done in a certain time frame. What is happening now is showing you all there is no time. It is love. Be in the present moment and connect to the heart center. Control is something that you've been conditioned for a long time. Your society has been conditioned to the control to control your life in every single aspect. It is time to let go of the control. Control is attached to duality consciousness. You have chosen to come here in this transition from duality consciousness to oneness consciousness remembrance. This is why you see separateness. You see things as wrong or right. You see your brothers and sisters as separate to you. You experience fear, but you also experience love. You see the opposites. This is duality. You've chosen to come through in this time to experience these dimensions. But now you are moving to more oneness dimensions in your conscious awareness. You are now as a collective letting go of these control paradigms because you wanted to, you came here to be in this transition. And as you go through this transition, there will be moments where you feel freedom, where you feel love, where you feel aligned to who you truly are. And there will be times where you will feel fear. This is a normal part of this transitional period. Accept yourself. You judge yourself. Are you accepting of yourself? Are you accepting of your journey? Yeah, a lot more than I ever was before. It is just one step. Most of you who understand these higher perspectives. Many of you judge your own journey. You are your worst critics. Because you know you are powerful. So when you doubt your power, when you fall into fear, whether that is control or seeing things from a duality perspective, you judge yourself. Let go of this. It is okay. It is okay to feel fear. To feel fear is not wrong. It is just part of your journey. It is showing you the gifts there. Forgive yourself for judging yourself. It is okay. It's part of the journey. Be in the present moment and go to your next step. It's all you need to do. But during this time, these paradigms of duality of control is being, we would say, purged from you. Mm. You need to better understand this terminology. 
It is being pulled through you magnetically as you move through dimensions of oneness. It is being shown to you in your awareness, programs, conditions, beliefs, based on duality, based on duality beliefs, which is a vibration of fear. Fear is a vibration of duality. This becomes released to your conscious awareness. Even ones that maybe weren't harmful to you, ones that didn't cause you much disappointment or just didn't cause you any ill effects, it is still going to be brought forth to your awareness for you to address. Once you can do that, once you can change the perspective of that, of what is being presented to you, if you can thank it for, its, for it doing its job, but was there for a reason, thank it and then let it go. This is a process all of you are going through on many different levels. So be kind to yourself, show compassion to yourself, compassion to others in this process. You are all being triggered during this time and this is supposed to happen. But if you're not in the present moment, you won't be present to be aware of those triggers, to be aware of those beliefs coming to the surface. They are there for you to address, to thank it and let it go in gratitude and in love. It served a purpose, but it no longer serves you. Then all that remains is love and acceptance. This is who you are. During this time, many of you may be impatient because of the conditions in your society. There may be things you want to do, but you feel limited to do them. What are you resisting? Look at the resistance there. Resistance is attached to duality consciousness. Resistance no longer serves you. Resistance is a frequency of fear. Everything is happening for you. It may not feel like that, but it is. Everything is happening for you. Even the fear. It's not about pushing it away, but acknowledging it, acknowledging what it's showing you. Fear is not your enemy. It is a teacher, not because you deserve to be punished. It's not about punishment. There is no such thing as punishment, only in your perception. Fear is a loving teacher a direct teacher to allow you to see the gifts that lay within you to see the gifts that is within you by releasing what no longer serves you practice being in the present moment and accepting all your emotions and perceptions of self and perceptions of others acceptance is a frequency of love and if you can do that you can practice gratitude this is a perspective in alignment to who you truly are it is source it is you and you are powerful do you feel that you are powerful d1 yes at times I, I I certainly do. Yeah, I do. You're in this transition. So you will transition. You will feel the dimensions of fear and love until the collective moves through this phase of evolution. Do you feel the shifts occurring within you? 
Oh yeah, I, it's. I look back even a week or two weeks, and I feel completely different than I did back then. And how are you feeling? How would you describe? For, uh, I, I feel. I've been very excited by all the things that are going on in the world. I, I feel. I think I do feel this big shift, and I, I'm not afraid of it. I'm happy and excited for it. You are seeing a higher perspective here, and this has aided you, and this is beneficial for you. Mm -hmm. you know that many others may not be in your position, but that's part of their soul contracts and part of their journey. Mm -hmm. Because fear is being released. So if you have not done the work, the inward work, you will feel more of this fear in your experience. This is why we've been coming through to assist you in this work in preparation for what is now occurring. It's just one step and acceptance. You as a collective are moving to oneness in your remembrance. You are already one. You are already enlightened. But you will know this for yourself. This will become activated in your conscious awareness. You are already being activated. Your divine blueprints are being activated. But you must also do the work to allow that vibrational key to unlock. Divine blueprint releases information about who you truly are, about your multidimensional lives, about your life purpose, about all your abilities. It's being released from this dimension. But it only is opened through vibration. Vibration that's based in love perspective. It's based in love. So as you do this work in accordance with divine time, you unlock certain aspects within your divine blueprint to have this released to your conscious awareness. It includes your abilities, your life purpose. And as you raise your frequency, and as the collective raises its frequency, which is what is occurring right now, even though it may not feel like it, you are letting go of the fear. You will all expand together. You will attract a dimension of oneness remembrance to your life experience. What is occurring now is already existing. There are other versions of reality based more in fear, and other versions of reality more based in love. And as you move through this evolutionary journey, you attract that dimension into your now experiencing as a collective. It is just one step. And thank yourself for the journey that you've taken. All of you. You are here because you are powerful. You would not be here otherwise. Only the most advanced beings came to earth at this time to weather this transition, to move the evolution of humankind to a place of oneness remembrance. This is how powerful you are and this is how worthy you are, even if you do not remember your power. It is coming. Do you want? What else would you like to discuss today? That's it for me. I'll let someone else go. Thank you. Tell one. I would like to add to the previous questionnaire. So when you were giving advice or mentoring, I had spoken to the previous questionnaire earlier before this call. And so my guides are Athena and Isis. You might know them. And uh, so what was interesting was I was, the girls were talking to me and I said, you have to be in alignment. 
you have to, when you become impatient, you're not in the flow. And if you can just hold that space in the alignment, and the questionnaire had said, yes, it's, it's allowing the universe to line up. And I said, Isis and Athena have really been working with me intensely on, it's such a collaborative universe. And when I go into my ego of separation and duality, I am resisting the mechanism of the design of the system. So I thought maybe you would want to talk about the system and design. T ones. The system is here to resist you. Many of you are feeling fear at the moment. Many of you do not feel fear. And this is all part of the system. The system is source code. The system is programs which you've chosen to enter. It is an illusion. What you are living in, what you look around you is all energy. It is illusion of physical reality. The conditions have been set up to assist you to explore your life missions here, to evolve the human collective consciousness. How deep do you want to go, mighty ones? It is all for you. You are source. And you are powerful. Know that you have soul contracts. If you are experiencing fear, know that this is part of your soul contracts. You wanted to experience duality consciousness. Some of you may be experiencing or have experienced some hardships in your perception and you wonder why. And you wonder why it happened to you. Even if you have done the work, even if you're in a perception of victim mentality, these conditions are actually conditions that were set up prior to your birth. If there is a theme in your life, then know that you've chosen it. You may ask why you chose it. You chose it because you are so highly advanced. You wanted to be creative in this physical reality game to expand. You may see why would I want to choose something like that for myself? And we understand this. But you do not want to remember why you chose it for yourself. Otherwise, you would not do the necessary steps for your expansion. The soul contracts are not set in stone. They are intentions. They're intentions that you chose and co-created with other beings prior to coming here to assist you in certain life missions, in certain explorations, to not only expand yourself on a perceived individual level, but also to assist in the evolution of the whole human race. Yes, because you are one. You are connected to the collective consciousness. And because you are connected to the collective consciousness, when you expand, all that is expands, you are connected. Many of you may be feeling the effects, those of you who are sensitive to what is now occurring. You may feel excited, but you may also feel pain. You may also be fearful, not just on yourself, but of others. 
Many different emotions of fear and sadness is common during this time because you are purging. You are purging these programs that is no longer needed and you want to assist others. Dear ones, be in a place of compassion and love and acceptance. And once you can stay in this frequency, you'll be guided on how to assist others, knowing that they don't actually need assistance from a higher perspective. But because you are called to lend your light, to share your light, to ignite the light with others, to allow them to remember who they truly are, because you are the light workers and the way showers. Many of you are being activated. As you do the work, you'll become more activated. It is a time where the collective will remember that they are one. It is already being expressed in your reality, in your society, you're already seeing evidence of this. Know that all your guides, or your, what you call spirit guides, they're actually all aspects of you. They are playing the role with you. They are playing the role with you because you've entered duality consciousness. So they are honoring that role of duality. But as you move further into oneness dimensions of remembrance, you'll be able to remember for yourself that they are actually you, that you are the powerful ones, that you are the power that you seek, that all the power that you see outside of yourself is actually within you, for all that exists is within you. But we also understand to reach these higher perspectives will come to you when you're ready. You may not be able to comprehend these perspectives at this time due to the purge. That is occurring and it is okay just know that it is happening for you you may be saddened by people who are seriously ill at this time or those who have transitioned from this earth we know this can be a difficult concept to comprehend but know this is also tied to soul contracts and that they play that role for a reason to assist in this collective shift. If you feel saddened by these people in their journeys, thank them for their journey. Thank them for the role that they are playing for the collective. Honour them. They did this out of love. They chose to live in this way, even, in their, even if their human perception may, might have not realised what was happening from a higher perspective. Trust that they do know from a higher perspective what is occurring. My dear ones, you all choose when you leave this earth. It's just from a human perception you do not see this. So thank them. Be grateful for these beings that have transitioned because they are the ones in, that are triggering the collective and activating the collective to assist the purge and to assist in remembering that you are one. They are playing an important role, so thank them and honour them. Because they are you. It's an aspect of you that chose to play that role. Even though they may leave family and friends behind and they are greatly saddened. From a higher perspective, they chose it also. They knew going in prior to coming here that they were going to play this part. They chose their family system, their parents. They knew that this will occur. But they are able to handle it, to manage it. They will not choose it for themselves otherwise. It's just a point of remembering that light within them. And this is why you were here. You are the ones that will assist in igniting the light with others. Igniting that spark that's in all others to allow them to remember that they are the powerful ones. 
50 ones. There were many different journeys that are occurring at the moment. If you feel fear, then love it, accept it. It is part of the purging process. Acknowledge it. Ask it what it wants to show you, what limiting belief it wants to show you. It is a limiting belief based in duality consciousness and you as a collective are moving through that. So accept it, you cannot love it. So gratitude, compassion. Compassion is a potent frequency of love. Compassion to those that are in fear. Compassion to yourself if you are in fear. You may not be able to fully understand it, but if you show compassion, you raise your frequency and you connect further to your brothers and sisters in oneness. Do you feel the love? Yes, I do. <laughs> love is all around you. For you are love. Do we have any other questions today? Anything you um, wish to explore in your my, uh, This is Malik. Um, I don't have any questions specifically. Um, I just wanted to say ever since I've been following your work and a few other people's work. I'm 22 right now, and I'm already starting to see these concepts and my own perception, and to the point where my perception is starting to shift, where I start to see people as me, although the duality is us looking different. I'm starting to see everything as in harmony, which is what I believe is part of the New Earth teachings, which is what you teach, and a couple other people I follow, as well as um, Jonvo McLeezadek, I'm not sure if you're familiar with his name, but I follow some of his work too. And I just want to say that I just appreciate everything. And we are grateful for you. It is not by accident that you are here. Because of your frequency, we would say each generation that becomes born on the earth has a higher frequency than the one above them because they're aligned to the frequency of Gaia. This is why you may be able to perceive such higher perspectives when we would say sometimes it might be harder to these higher perspectives until later on in life. It's because of your age, because you are more tuned to gaze frequencies. This is why you're able to see these higher perspectives at such a young age. So be grateful for your journey. Know that in your journey, you will go through different bumps and challenges along the way. But it is very humbling and is an honor to know that you know that you're not alone, that you can see these higher perspectives. Because not everyone chose to be awake and you've chosen to remember who you are. You've chosen to remember your power. And we are grateful for you and we are grateful for everyone that is on this journey. That is on this journey of remembering their own light. Their own power. Their own truth. The truth of oneness. In everything that you explore in life. Lead from the heart. Lead from the heart center. This is your compass. It is not the ego mind. Your heart center is the most powerful portal. It is the most powerful dimension to exist in. When you connect the present moment portal to your heart center portal, this is where your soul self can be found. Well, all the wisdom in all that is, is found because it's always been there. It's only when your vibration is ready will it be released to your conscious awareness. And how wonderful it is that you and many others are on this journey to remember this for yourself. 
It is our intention to spark the light within you, to assist in igniting divine flame within you, the power within you. So then you go out in your perception of external reality to share your light, to share your love, to assist in igniting that divine light in the conscious remembrance of others. It is from love. Accepting all, knowing that it's all, all is occurring for you. Dear ones. Is there anything else you'd like to discuss before we finish here today? Um, can you hear me? I can, my dear one. Okay. Um, so lately I've been inspired to meditate on um, whatever level of presence I can pay attention to or stay focused in the level of awareness kind of beyond the body a little bit-ish, but still kind of accepting that this is all happening and you know this is all oneness and uh, and i do find there's refuge there for me i can find kind of like a peace when i find that sweet spot of just being in awareness um but in action in life i find it difficult like there's a there's sadness in my heart for trying to contribute to life and knowing what that how to make choices from the heart and trusting that it'll be the right way to go even if it's not extraordinary maybe to just go in and pick strawberries with an auntie instead of you know serving the Dalai Lama <laughs> you know I'm just uh, curious if you see what I'm my concern is and if you can help do you want you have we would say shut your heart down somewhat to open your heart is to be fully vulnerable and to be fully vulnerable and open your heart can be very scary because opening your heart and being vulnerable means you will feel those emotions that's, that's attributed to belief systems that you have attached to. You will feel the sadness, you will feel all the emotions, but you will also feel joy and love. If you have not worked on certain belief systems, then you will feel it here. And it is okay. It is okay to feel the full force of the pain in your heart center, to feel the fear. It is for you. Once you can feel it, once you can acknowledge it, it will no longer be needed. Ask it. What are you showing me? Why do, you, why do I feel this fear? Why do I feel this sadness? Make the intention for it to be shown to you to receive the message. You all have this ability to ask your emotions what it is showing you. But you are resisting your heart being open. This may relate to certain scenarios when you were a child. A lot of this program can be long forgotten, conditioned. Belief systems you've picked up and you've attached to them and you've forgotten about them that they're still there. So allow it to be shown to your awareness. It's about not being resistant to the fear, not being resistant to the pain. If you keep being resistant to these emotions, it will still linger, it will still be attached Embrace the fear, embrace the sadness, 
because know that it is an illusion, is know who you truly are, talk to it. What, what does it wish to show you about who you are and who you were and how much you have grown, how much you have expanded? It is there for you. And once you can have that dialogue, that connection, and see the gift there, then you can ask it to be released and it will be. And by doing this, you increase your frequency and you activate more of your divine blueprint. So you'll be able to tap more into your guidance on which step to do. No, you don't have to do any grand step. You don't see the full picture on what one little step can do. Picking strawberries. The guidance for you picking strawberries, waving and saying hello to someone. A few meters away, for instance, you don't know what that smell would do to that person. Maybe you'll change their whole life because of that smile. And you're meant to be there to provide that smile and hello to that person walking by. You don't not know their story. Perhaps they were on the brink and that warm, gentle smile lifted their life and allowed them to feel they were not alone. Can't you see? It doesn't have to be a grand step. It's the little ones. It's about following the guidance. It's all part of your soul contracts. Know that if you have this inspirational guidance and it's based on love, it's based on fun, it's based on a frequency of love, then it is for you and it is guidance. We call this your intuition. This is your soul self. This is your guides and supporters, but at the end of the day, it is you. You are guiding yourself here. It's just we honor the story of duality consciousness, so we appear and present to you as separate beings as you, but we are not. We are you. So trust the guidance. Even if you may see it as a small step, you don't know how it might change your life. Perhaps you're meant to meet someone there in the strawberry fields. Perhaps you will see a sign there. You just do not know. So follow the guidance. At times, knowing these higher perspectives and on this journey, you can be somewhat attached to these big steps or has to be a big um, a perceived guided step that creates big changes. It doesn't have to be. It's just little changes one step at a time. But being in the present moment, if you're not in the present moment, these, these little steps, which you cause little steps, which is just as important as the large steps, you'll be able to receive that guidance. If you're not in the present moment, then you are vibrating in dimensions of the past and the present. This is not where your true power lies. Yes, your past may be presented to you because there is a lesson there, there is a gift there, something to acknowledge, but it's not to dwell in it. You see, even the future self is not as powerful as who you are now because it is in the present moment, your dimensional portway to all of your multidimensional lives. You are living here in many lives at once. To tap into your true power from all the lives you are living is to be in the present moment, in the heart center. It is the gateway for this energy. It is the gateway to empower yourself. It is there where you connect to your source self. And with each step you do, and as you trust the guidance each step of the way, you receive more steps because the universe, your guides, you, source, is providing you with more steps because you are now trusting. So each step that you take, each step you take in acting on the guidance, you will find that more steps will come to your awareness and they may be larger. They may be more expansive, but they may not be. It is just practice, receiving the guidance and acting on it. You may feel fear in relation to these steps. You may see these as little steps, such as picking strawberries, but you don't, you don't have much resistance there. 
So it might be more easier for you to take that step. But as you practice taking the steps, what may be required is for you to push past fear. These steps may be scary. These steps may not associate to who you think you are. You may think these steps, if you take these steps, you may be judged by society, by others. And we understand this, but they are steps nonetheless, and there are steps for you to push, push past the fear if you want to remember more of who you are. So in this process, it's about detaching from others' opinions, detaching from how others will think, knowing that everyone is you and everyone reacts to you because of your frequency. If you can let go of opinions of others, you can heighten your vibration. And because of the mirror system, universal laws of reflection, if you're in a heightened frequency, others respond to you in accordance to your frequency. So if you're in a vibration of love and acceptance, then they'll reflect that back to you. Do you feel more confident in taking the next step, my dear? Uh, well, it's lovely to hear what you said. It, it certainly sounds uh, like you could tap into uh, some stuff there. So um, I feel if I can uh, be more trusting in presence, being present and uh, the unfoldment, trust the unfoldment, like some people are saying. Um, I do feel like all the things you said is really what I'm working with. Um, so yeah, I think Am I ready to take the next step? Well, it's if it's supposed to be the next step, then it sure it's going to happen anyway. <laughs> but know that these steps can be perceived to be mundane, so you may disregard them. It, but it's there for you. It's allowing you to practice taking the next step in your guidance. Perhaps you receive guidance to go and make a coffee, but you may disregard that, thinking, "Oh, I don't want a coffee," or maybe I don't need one, or you may rationale why you don't want to do it. Maybe you are too busy, but it's practice in you taking that step. Mm -hmm. Could be reading a specific book. There's many different ways these guidance can be presented to you. And as you, and as you get practice with this, and as you trust the guidance, you actually become more sensitive to the guidance. And you'll be able to know that it's guidance because it's based in love and it's not an urge, which is based in fear which is yeah. an urge is something that you wish to control the, the conditions because you don't like something, you want something to be changed, so you have an urge to change something that is based on fear. It is not wrong. And that's because you're in this transition, this may happen, that is fine. But just know true guidance comes from the heart center, not about trying to change any situation or condition. It's about allowing an acceptance. And you will know in its guidance as you do more practice, because you will feel the rush of energy. You may feel excited, but then feel fearful. Your creativity may become ignited and you might feel a buzzing sensation. There are many different ways you can feel this within you. As you trust it more, more steps will appear and more advanced steps will appear in your perception. More steps that will ask you to push past more fear. So trust the ones that are presented to you and know it is for you in love. Thank you for sharing, D1. Know that we are with you, we are one. Is there anyone else who would like to discuss anything further before we finish here today? Okay. Well, dear ones, know that you are one, know that you are love, know that you are never alone, that you're always connected. Even if you feel alone, you are not. You are connected. Connect to your heart center. Feel the love that radiates here. Feel the love that connects you. 
the love is there. It's always been there. Once you let go of the fear, of the control, of the resistance, all that remains is love remembrance, is oneness remembrance. This is who you are. You do not have to gain love. You do not have to gain enlightenment. You already love. You already enlightenment. It is your perceived individual journey and the collective journey for you to remember this for yourself. And this is what this is why you are currently going through the situation, this grand expansive event that the collective is currently going through. It is all there for you. Know that we love you for we are you. We are one. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being vulnerable and thank you for opening your heart. Continue to open your heart to remember more of who you are, to connect to who you truly are. Until next time, farewell.